Welcome to getting started with inquiries for the Online System for Customer Applications and Records, or OSCAR. In this video, we're going to be talking about how to create an inquiry and then access that inquiry afterwards. So to get started, we're going to click on the Inquiry button here at the top menu. This is going to take us to a new page that will show us a list of all the inquiries that we've already created. But as we're new to the system, you'll notice that there's nothing listed here. And so to start a new inquiry, all we're going to have to do is come up here to Create. Okay, now we're on the inquiry creation form. Uh, a few things to note on this page. Uh, you'll notice at the top here, these are the different stages that will need to be completed before we can submit the inquiry. Uh, the next thing that we're going to talk about here is you see these little red asterisks next to some of these fields here. Uh, these mean that the field is actually required information. So like anything else in the system, if it has a red asterisk next to it, it is a required field, and you're going to need to fill that out before we can move on and complete the form. Uh, the next thing you'll notice here is the inquirer contact. Uh, you'll notice there's a lookup modal next to it. And so if we launch that, you'll notice that we don't have a new contact in the system that we can select for this field, but it is required. So we're going to have to create a contact. So to do that, all we have to do is come up to the top here and click on the contacts in the menu. And you'll notice here once it pages to this is it says there's no records to display. That's because we haven't created a new contact in the system and we're going to need to do that. So to do that, pretty simple, you just click on the create button. All right, so on this form, you're going to see all the information you need to fill out to create a new contact. Uh, again, remember that some of these fields do have the red asterisk next to them. So again, like anything else in the system, this is required and you will need to fill this out before you can create this new contact. Uh, you can go ahead and pause the video here and go through this form and fill out the required information so that you can create this contact. Uh, with the magic of video editing, I'm going to go ahead and fill this out really quick. And then when you're done, we can pick up where we left off. Okay, so you can see that uh, I filled out this contact form. And all we have to do now is just scroll down to the very bottom of the page. And you'll see the submit button here. You just need to click on that to create the new contact. And just like that, you can see we have the contact that we just created now in this list here. So we can now start the inquiry. And to do that, we're just going to go back up to the menu here at the top and click on Inquiries. And this is going to take us back to the inquiry list. And again, at the bottom here, this is if we already started an inquiry and we filled out some information that we just needed to come back to it, it would be listed here. But since we haven't actually created one yet, uh, we just go back to where we were before by clicking Create. And you'll notice now we're back on the creation form. And if you scroll down to where it says the inquirer contact and then we launch this lookup modal, you'll notice now we can actually fill in the contact that we just created. And so you can just go ahead and click select that and you can see it just auto fills into that. Uh, so now what you're going to do here is you're going to fill out the rest of this form with any information that you have, making sure to fill out any field that has the red asterisk next to it. And then uh, go ahead and pause the video here, fill this out. I'm going to do the same, and then I'll go ahead and meet you at the next step. So just fill this out and then scroll down to the bottom and then click next when you're done and I'll meet you there. Okay, now we're on stage two of the inquiry form. Uh, here we're going to be entering locations for the inquiry and to do that you're going to come here to add new locator. Uh, anytime you create a, a new inquiry you're going to have to enter in at least one required locator type. Uh, this is going to be county, upland address, latitude, longitude, that sort of thing. Uh, you'll notice that the locator type here has a red asterisk next to it. So this is just informing you that you have to put in one of these. Uh, so you'll notice that the different types that you'll have will going to be in this drop down box here. And for the purposes of this demo, I'm going to choose Upland Address. But understand this is going to be different for you, and so don't necessarily follow along with exactly what I'm doing here. But you'll notice that when I chose Upland Address, it popped up some uh, extra fields that I should fill out to complete this form. Uh, so go ahead and choose whichever uh, locator type is applicable to your inquiry. And then uh, once you're done, you're just going to come here and scroll down to the bottom and click Submit. And this is just going to add the locator type to the form. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and let you pause it here, and then I'll fill out this form, and then I'll meet you on the other side here. Okay, and with the magic of editing, you can see that I went ahead and filled out the uh, locator type details in this form here. And I assume that you did as well. So all you have to do now is just scroll down to the very bottom of this form here, and go ahead and click Submit. And you'll notice that this is just going to add that locator type to the uh, form here. So the next thing that you need to do on this stage is just fill out the land use and location information. Notice that's required. And then go ahead and click Next, and I'll meet you on the next stage. Now we're on stage three of the inquiry form, which this is the questionnaire. 
You'll notice that when you scroll down and look at these questions that they all have red asterisks next to them. And so this is just telling you that every single one of these questions are required and you're going to have to fill out all the answers to these questions before you can submit this form to the State Lands Commission. So if you're not sure the answers to some of these questions and you need to take some time to research, um, you can pause the inquiry at this time and then come back to it at a later date. And I'll actually show you that right now. So if we go to the home screen, and then you'll notice if we go back to the inquiries from the menu at the top here, you'll see now that in the inquiry list we actually have one because this is the one that we've been working on. You can see that it says it's active and we saved it and haven't submitted it yet. And so if we go ahead and click on that, it'll take us right back to the questionnaire and then allow us to continue on. So if you need to take some time, go ahead and do that and then you can come back to it at a later date. So I'm going to let you pause the video here and fill out this questionnaire. When you're done, just scroll down to the very bottom, click the Save Answers, and go to the Next Stage button, and I'll meet you on the next stage. Now we're on stage four of the inquiry form. This is going to be adding any supporting documents that we need for this inquiry. Uh, based on the questions in stage three, some of the questions might actually require a supporting document to be uploaded. Some might not. So you'll notice that on the questions that I answered, it is asking me for improvement plans and any proposed improvement plans that I have. And so if you click on the more details, it'll just give you a little bit more instructions if necessary here. Uh, some of the questions that you answered may not require any supporting documents, but you can add any supporting documents that you want if you think it's applicable to this form. So to do that, all you have to do is scroll down here and you'll see that there's already a line here that says that we've attached a document to this uh, form already. And this is the questionnaire from the previous stage. So to add to that with any supporting documents, you'll see right here this upload button. Go ahead and click on that and it'll pop up this little modal here that wants us to uh, add any documents that we have for this form. So if you need, you can just go ahead and click add files. And then on this, you're just going to say choose file. And you'll notice that this is my desktop and I have a demo document. This is just a PDF document. This could be whatever plans or images that you guys need to upload depending on what the questionnaire that you did or if you have some other document uh, that you need to add for whatever reason to this form. You just browse that on your station and then uh, click open. And then you'll notice that it just adds it and then you just say add file. And then after a page is back, you can see that it added it to this uh, to this form here. And then all we have to do is just scroll down and click Submit. So do that as many times as you need to upload however many documents that you want for this inquiry. And then when you're done, just uh, go ahead and click Submit, and you'll notice that it just adds it. So that's pretty much Stage 4. So just add any supporting documents that you need, and then go ahead and click on Next, and I'll meet you at the last and final stage. Okay, now we're on the final stage. This is stage five in the submission options. Uh, so just uh, one thing to note here, uh, it's pretty simple. Uh, you'll notice that submission options has a red asterisk next to it. It's simply just asking you what do you want to do with this inquiry right now. And so you have a couple of options. You can save it and then not submit it to the State Lands Commission, and then you can access it or submit it at a later date if you want to. Again, just by coming up to the inquiries and then seeing it in that list that I showed you in the previous steps. Uh, the next thing you could do is you can just, if you're ready to go and you want to submit this, you can go ahead and choose to submit to the State Lands Commission. And uh, if you need to, you can go ahead and cancel it and it'll just remove everything. So um, choose whichever submission option is applicable for you and then click Submit and then you're done with the inquiry.